What's up guys, Max here, and welcome back to another quick and easy Premiere Pro beginner tutorial. Let's say you're jumping on the Instagram Reels and TikTok bandwagon, and you wanna start exporting videos from Premiere Pro formatted for those applications. Super simple. Currently we have a sequence here. It's regular HD. We don't want that. We want it to be something that fits vertically um, in our timeline. So let's go to reveal and project. Here we go. Let's make a new file. So we have our bin, our batch here. Let's do new right here, new item sequence. From here, um, there is some settings already inside of Premiere Pro um, for social media. What we want is nine by 16. Go to settings, it's 1080 by 1920. Time base, 30 frames a second, it's totally up to you. I would personally choose uh, 23976. It's just a little data management for me. Saves it and also looks better. In my opinion, let's do this vertical video. And click OK. Now we have a vertical timeline in Premiere Pro. From here, I can copy over my last project footage paste it into here, and it's right here. Let's right click and do fit to frame. And as you can see, it has been scaled down quite a bit. From the effect controls here, it's at 28.1. I just wanna scale this footage up to fit. From here, we can move it over to find the most interesting frame, which is right here. And now we can see that it is right in the middle of our timeline. From here, we wanna have some really dope export settings for all of our videos for TikTok and Instagram. So from here, you can right click your vertical video sequence or you can hit the export tab, right click export media. And we wanna match the source, 1080, 1920, 23976, format H.264, that's what we want. Scroll down, VBR one pass, let's change this to 25 for a nice bit rate, good data. If your audio is on, if you have audio, turn that on. From here, you wanna drop down on your effects tab in the export settings. Let's do loudness normalization. This is very helpful and really good to use in all your videos. Drop down, ITU BS 177-3, then drop this down to negative 14 zero, negative one. And why are we doing this? Um, let's pretend that you're not an audio engineer, you know, because we're not. Um, and in your uh, export, the it sounded great. Like you're editing the sound down here in the sound files, the sound layers. To you, it sounded good, but in reality, it's too quiet for YouTube and Instagram and all that stuff, but you couldn't tell because your headphones were turned up too loud on your computer. That export setting for loudness normalization will just normalize your sound um, for the perfect you know, height, you know, to make it sound good on those platforms. Um, and that's how you set up a very beginner TikTok and Instagram workflow inside of Premiere Pro to edit your videos. As always, guys, I'm Max. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you for being a part of the channel. If you are new to the channel, feel free to like and subscribe. Otherwise, I'll catch you guys in the next video. And scan that QR code on screen helps me out a ton.